guys you welcome to my channel <laughs> i just feel this is the new way i'm going to be saying it my channel our channel maybe this is the new way i'm going to be doing it in this new coming year <laughs> so let me know in the comment section if you like it so guys you welcome to my you welcome to our <laughs> channel you know this channel is all about you me us everyone and you welcome here and on to the episode we're going to be talking about christmas what christmas means to me and if you guys what christmas means to me as a, a mom a daughter a wife a content creator yeah that's very important <laughs> so guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys you know on the last um two days ago i shared a video on what christmas means to me or what christmas meant to me as a child as a teenager in my whole teenager i shared a lot of gist there so guys if you have not watched that video please go and watch it i'm going to put the video in the description box so that you guys can just click it after watching this one so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys what christmas means to me now 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 you know what christmas means to me in 2021 mm -hmm. so guys you know every day of the year we all celebrate um, our birthdays you know just like my birthday last two years my birthday was on a sunday and um last year it was on a monday and this year is on a sunday so the date changes but the date remained the same my baby is december yeah i'm a christmas baby <laughs> so guys it changes the date changes but the date does not change so christmas is we're celebrating the birth of our lord jesus christ you know all knows what jesus means to us he came to die for our sins eh? and he he, he, he 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 was giving birth to hmm? some people argue in january is february whether it's march whether it's december but we chose a day to celebrate our lord jesus christ that is what is important so guys the days the day changes but the dates remain the same which is 25th of december and we celebrate christmas just like in our birthdays when people are celebrating birthdays your loved ones even you if you are the celebrant you receive gifts oh you receive love you receive people get to tell you sweet things you know what you means to them and others come to tell you silly things and you know i have a lot of friends when it's my bed instead of them to be telling me oh i'm good i'm this they will tell me the things they don't like about me so guys <laughs> please ignore the noise it's the bell that is ringing so guys ah oh, i think i'll just i'll just shut down and come back after this bell finish ringing mm-hmm okay it's not sounding so much so guys let's continue so i have some friends and eh? they'll come to tell me the silly things they don't like about me then after that they'll not start telling me the sweet things you know and most of the times i'll just burst into tears mm -hmm. so and at the end of the day we receive gifts you know loved ones people are calling me hey god the kind of call i receive on my birthdays eh? people are calling me the one that is praying for me and my mother hmm, my mom we call her home oh guys guys I didn't wear a ring, eh? Christmas period. <laughs> so my mom will call me during the Christmas and hmm, my mom will call me for almost three hours. She will use one hour to pray for me. Then she will use the remaining hours to tell me about, um, sorry guys. She will use, she will use the remaining hours to tell me about how, how she gave birth to me, how she gave birth to my elder brother, and I think they were trying for another baby. My dad and, and her was trying for another baby, you know, I didn't come on time. Ah, I now came the miraculous way I came. Ah, I came, I came without stress, I came without struggles. My mom would start telling me all these stories from there. She will not end that the story of my siblings on my birthday. And she will not begin to say how I was acting as a child. Hey, God. You know, so people just get to make up your day, sweet things, cause it's like a touch light is just on on top of someone on, on his or her birthday. You know, that's how it is. And Christmas is our Lord Jesus' birthday. And the same thing goes to him too. We have to tell Jesus what Christmas means to me is that 
Wait, I have to tell him how important he is to me. I have to tell him those sweet words. And I have to give him a gift also. Just like we give to our neighbors, our friends, our siblings, our families. So on Christmas, we also have to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's his birthday. We have to sing to him a Christmas song, a birthday song. You know, just like the way people sing birthday song for you. Happy birthday to you. Ah, la, 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 la. So, the same thing, the same thing for our Lord Jesus Christ. So, this is what Christmas means to me that I have to tell him how much I love him this season. I have to celebrate him. I have to thank him for coming to die for me, for coming for me. You know, just like the way you tell your your friends, your, you know, everybody, every everyone who is celebrating birthday that you love, that you are close to, just like you tell them how much it means to you. So same thing on, on, on Christmas. So we, I have to tell him what it means to me, how important he is to me, you know, thanking him for coming to die for me. And another thing is, you know, the Bible says that if you love me, you will keep my words, you know. That's your friend, your spouse, your siblings that are celebrating birthday. If you love them, you won't do things that will offend them. If you have a best friend, for example, you always be there for your best friend. You always do everything to please your friend. So that is the same thing. During Christmas, people just have to do everything to worship God in spirit and in truth, to keep his word, to live by his word. If you have if you have if you have backslidden from his path or you have walked away from his path this is the time to get yourself right back to him you know it's just like when you go and um, maybe you offended someone on the abede you go and uh, meet them and plead with them please my friend forgive me it is hardly i said that person has a stronger that the person will not forgive you because it's the person's birthday so christmas to me is a time of reconciliation is a time of coming back to god if you have left him and the most important thing is that you have to also give god a gift you have to give jesus a gift and what's that gift what what is the most important thing to god is souls for people to be one to his kingdom and that's the greatest gift you can give him during christmas tell somebody about jesus invite the person to church let the person surrender to him that's what christmas means to me personally you know it's a time of celebrating his birth and it's a time of people being um would that english be okay now people being betted <laughs> to christ <laughs> during this time Oh my God, Grandma. Oh, Jesus Christ. Grandma in the Lord. So for people to come to his kingdom, you know, this is the time to talk about Christmas. And also, you know what, what the Bible says about the poor, that those who give to the poor. So during this season is a time to give to the poor. You know, as you are giving to the poor, you are giving to the Lord also. So it's the time to share. I remember um, during um, when I was still back in Nigeria, every of my birthday, I always go to the orphanage home to share gifts with them, to spend time with them. And um, I, spe I, I celebrate my birthday with them a day before my birthday or on my birthday or a day after my birthday, depending on the time that the orphan orphanage um, schedule with me, you know, I usually tell them pick between these three days for me a day before my birthday or on my birthday or after my birthday. Why? Mm. Because that is the right thing to do. So I spend time with them. I, I think I'll get pictures at the end of this video just to show you a splash of what I always do on my birthdays. You know, so same thing on Christmas. Even on Christmas Day, usually I don't, um, um, usually I travel out of um, town during christmas so before maybe like two days before i travel i go to the orphanage and share things and when i go back if i i celebrate christmas and um, in uh, nigeria that period or i go to with my mom i do the same thing why is a time of sharing your birthday jesus birthday is a time of giving is a time of sharing and is a time of making people happy there are people in your life that Oh, maybe mis uh, misunderstanding. Some people, some people just feel you don't love them. Some people feel, mm, you know, you don't have my time. You know, it's a time to make up during Christmas. To make up with people, make relationship, meet with families. You know, I share the memories of how I celebrated Christmas as a child, and I miss those times. You know, where all the families just come together, everybody's happy, drinking, celebrating. But the most important thing, the most important thing I ask myself during that time is: Is God happy with me? Do you understand? I might celebrating Him the way I should, 
and that's why i do everything possible to renew my commitment to him during christmas to tell him how much i love him to appreciate him and most importantly to tell someone about him you know so that's what this is what christmas means to me it's a time of celebrating him it's a time of celebrating people it's a time of loving people it's a time of reconciliation hey it's a time mm, to win people to his kingdom and it's a time to renew your vows, to tell him how much it means to you. And not just to say it, but to show it. You know, when you celebrate those, your friends, siblings, spouse, when after you finish telling them, you carry a gift and package and also give them. The same thing. And what is those that, that gift that God will appreciate? To tell somebody about him. That person that you will win to God's kingdom is his gift. And when you share things with the poor, it's the gift you are giving to him. So, this is what Christmas means to me. Christmas means to me that I celebrate people. I celebrate people every day, but this one during Christmas, you know there's a fragrance that Christmas carries. <laughs> this perfume that it carries when it's just Christmas like this. I don't know how many of you is perceiving that fragrance already. <laughs> today is um, it's today, today is 11th of, um, no, today is, yeah, today is, Today is 11th of December, so the fragrance, the perfume, I've already started. As I've already, it's already, it's already, it's, it has already started spreading everywhere. It's already spreading everywhere. So, guys, this is what Christmas means to me. It's a time to show love huh? more than the way you've been showing it before. It's a time to tell someone about Jesus. So, this is what Christmas means to me as a mom as a wife as a content creator and as a church girl a jesus baby <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching and i'm looking forward to all your comments let me hear hmm? let me know let me learn what christmas means to you on the comment section and i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope you had a nice talk while watching thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you I'll see us in the next episode. Bye-bye. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs> Bye.